Today I am trying out the Kodak Fun Saver disposable camera. On the back it has this little diagram which is kind of cute that shows you all the steps. On the top of the camera it has a countdown which shows you the number of shots you have left. That's the button you hit to take the picture and that button lets you know that the flash is charged. To charge the flash, you go ahead and you hit the button on the front side of the camera. And when the light turns red, you know you're ready to take a shot. And when you're done taking the shot, you just want to advance to the next frame. For the first test, I shot indoors using the natural light in the room and the flash that's on top of the camera. It was around 2 p.m., so there was quite a bit of light. Even though I was using the flash, you can tell that the photos are still pretty dark looking. I also took a couple shots with the flash turned off and you can see that they come out quite grainy. Next up, I used a pink light bulb really close to her face. I really like the way these came out and it shows you how well the camera responds to a really bright light source. I wanted to show you how the camera performs in a lot of different scenarios. So next we went outside. We were fairly close to sunset, but it was still quite bright outside and I was using the flash. For this camera, they recommend you are 4 to 11.5 feet away from your subject. And what I found was I really liked the results when I was on the shorter end of that spectrum, meaning from 4 to 6 feet seemed to be the sweet spot. I posted a lot more images from this day on my blog, and I also included some digital images so you can compare and contrast the digital photos versus the film photos. Overall, I love shooting with film because it just slows me down a bit and it makes every shot feel a little bit more special. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. And I just wanted to say that I got the inspiration to do this from a video by Mango Street. They have an incredible photography channel. I will link to their video below. And if you end up shooting some stuff on disposable cameras, please tag me on Instagram so I can check out your images and let me know if you come up with any tips or tricks that I can use. So yeah, until I see you next, I just want to say I love you guys and check you out later. Bye.